Hello everybody and welcome to episode 5 of Rupert, part of the Let's Play Cities XL thing. As you can see we have 1, 2, 3, 4 towns of various sizes and configurations that are growing here in our wonderful world. And I think the first thing we are going to do is take a look at some of the uh, the uh the, 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 the satisfaction of various things. We're going to look at public services, we're going to look at health services. And this is where we actually start to provide services for our people, considering well, we have some a little bit of money to spend, so let's see. That's a little expensive for us. Provides for health needs, medical center. Since I think the range is pretty limited, we're going to build one here. And we'll build one up here. Don't think that's going to bankrupt us with only a thousand uh, monthly cost. Alright, so let's look at our education satisfaction. Nobody's educated in our city. So let's go over to the education tab. Well, we don't have too much we can build in terms of education, but again, let's build one here and one over here to start us off. Alright, what's next? Security. My favorite Peter Gabriel album. Okay. We are going to put that down here. And again, we're going to plop one here. And one over there. Everyone else in the in-between cities are just going to be out of luck. Alright, what else do we need to worry about? Fire. Hey, I think I must have made a fire station at some point because everyone's happy. Alright. Shops. Well, there's a lack of retail over here and over there. This is kind of a large area to be satisfied with just two shops, so let's um, smack down some retail. Give him a shop. Put a shop over here. Shop over there. We also need shops. Smack a shop on the road. One over here. There's a lot of shops here. Why aren't you satisfied? Oh well, we'll give you one more. Good enough for now. Alright, what's after shops? Leisure. Nobody is satisfied. Alright. Leisure. We're going to give... We're going to put a bowling alley in each town. Because we can. So you can go bowling with the dude. And Lenny. And angry guy, whatever his name is. And let's put a basketball court in each town if we can afford it. Yeah, they're only 500. It can't hurt. Slap him down. And one more over here. And there we go. Let's turn on the time. Yeah, there we go. Yes, our money took a little bit of a hit, but we're still well on the positive. So, let's take a look at our... Whoa! Electricity is too expensive. Click on this icon to trade. Let's see. How about the city of Molodesia? We can't export from them. Or we can't buy from them. How about Gerd? Alright, electricity... Well, they seem to be kind of screwed as well. We buy anything from them. Hey, let's, uh... Well, we can sell them unskilled workers, or buy... From... Actually, no. Let's not engage in slave trading. I don't think Byron would approve. So... Yeah, the, the problem is there's not enough houses for them. 
So we are going to have to uh come on. Click a click. Annoying box popping. Whoa, hello. So there we go. Yep, we need more unskilled workers. Let's put some in each town area. Alright, first we're gonna go here. Just some low density along the main strip. Like so. Should make everyone happy. We don't need that side road. It's gonna create problems for us. Whoa, hello. We can make docks and stuff. That's kinda cool. Alright, but um I'm gonna blow you up. We'll add some more over here. Okay. But we are going to do this. Nice. And now let's add over here. Continuing the established block pattern by using not that tool. Yes. There we go, I like that. I live with that. In fact, let's keep expanding in this area. This block pattern. Toss in some shops. Because people will like to shop. There we go. Blow you up. All right, we're just going to fill in this with unskilled workers all over throughout the land. Probably will be decoration here, but that's okay. And there we have it with our quaint little grid. It's quite wonderful. Everybody's happy. People are moving in. All right. Let's take a look at traffic. Whoa. Traffic. It's bad over over down there. Well, here's what we're going to do. We are first going to pause. Then we're going to blow up this road. And we are going to take our avenue. Damn it. Here it is. We are going to continue it to here. And then we are going to spend a little bit of money. And make an avenue that curves around and serves as a a bypass of sorts. We will just continue it to here and say that's enough for now. Then connect some roads. that one and then we are going to connect this as a road this as a road and we are going to make a angled road right into there one more you say okay we're gonna make a road right here and there we go now any number of people can get in from the bypass. It's beautiful how it works out, isn't it? Yep. Everybody's happy, or at least they should be. Begin the time again. Look like at traffic. All right, we'll wait until it processes this. Unless they're all using this derpy road. Oh, nope, there they go. 
Traffic's not too big of a problem anywhere else. So... We are going to now say, since this is an organic city, and we really want to boost things into high gear, we're going to say that... Okay, let's find our utilities first. Fuel. We're going to... Well, there's not too many oil fields left, but... Oh, there's one over here. We're going to say... This oil field was just discovered. Yep, just discovered right now. Whoa, okay, yeah, those don't have to be that big. And because of that, there is going to be a boom in this area. And we have oil fields. All right. And now that we have oil fields, we need roads. The extraction vehicles need to have their roads. So we're gonna, just gonna give them regular roads. To connect it to the big road. Or these are slightly big roads, aren't they? Oh well. And so they say, oh, this is exciting. We now have all this, but we need to process it. So bring in our heavy industry. So I say, where can we build heavy industry that's relatively flat? How about over here? And so that is what they do. They build up their heavy industry to process their new stuff. And now that they do that, they say, well, we're going to need workers. So, they decide to throw workers on the other side. They say, let's build a road first. And they say, well, we're going to need some uh, big zones, so that's what they do. They zone big. Lots of space for the workers. And they say, let's build a shopping district. So first, they build a cross street. Like so. And they say, let's fill it with shops. Yes, they don't have the eminent domain to uh, demolish those houses. But it's alright. Whoa! Medium offices, supermarkets, fire services, parks, large hotels. Wow! And of course, the road administration decides they need a new connection to go straight straight out to here, but since that's more than 45 degrees, apparently there. Oh man, a new a new road for the masses. It's exciting. And what's your problem? A lack of skilled workers, office services. So they're like, oh, we need to build those in. But the offices are like, we don't want to be built over there. We want to be built somewhere nicer. So where's nicer? Is it too far away to be over here? Let's say no. Huh. Actually, let's say right over here. We have to go into our industry for offices, and they say we will build some medium density offices over here. I 
And there we go. They have themselves an office park. And right across from that, they're going to have some medium density workers. And this road is probably going to be clogged, but no one's thinking about that right now. Well, what did I just build? Okay. But yeah, they are so very excited about expansion that they don't worry too much about the consequences. Okay, say so consequences. What are that? What are those? We don't have to worry about such things right now. We have a good economy. And of course, they're going to want to put shops here. So there you go. Oh man, and what's your problem? They still need skilled workers. Well, skilled workers are going to move in nearby. Hmm, let's see. In fact, their houses are going to pop up all along this road. In sporadic fashion, for no reason other than they can. So yes, this road is now filled with those guys, and executives are needed too. What's your problem? They need executives. All oh, right. Well, this has a far-reaching effect on this area. Because they say, hey, we need to have executives and office people and such. So they say, let us build a Waterside Avenue. Just like this. Just a nice little cruise along the river. And I say, how far should it go? Say, to the point down here. Auto save, and speaking of points. We're going to throw in a road style. A road style? A road. Road style is my favorite kind of road. Alright. Since everyone is very excited, we're going to expand some more roads. For our waterside thing here. We're losing money, oh no. Not for long. Whoops, I'm using the wrong kind of road. They say, who doesn't want to live by the water? So first, they zone in all this kind of stuff. And then they say, you know what, we need executives. Executives would love to live in this area. So they build it up. They build it up, Buttercup, just to let me down. I'll be random if I did that. Okay. So new blocks for executive living sprout up along our beautiful um, waterside avenue. And that's going to be a pain in the butt, isn't it? That intersection right there. I will fix that later. So the executives are happy to move in, and they say, we could use a new office district. 
So they say, hmm, should we make it lower high density? They ask, and they say, you know what? On the one side of the road, we'll make it high density or medium, as the case might be, and we'll make it high on the other, or low on the other. So first of all, they're gonna go to offices. And put some there, not too many, but you get what you get, right? And then they say, how about we forget the idea that we just had, end zone medium density offices along the river, or along our river road, that is. And they can fit four. Oh man, so let's expand this, and we're gonna say, and then for some lower density zones, we are gonna fill them all in here. Let's see if we can squeeze any here. Nope, there's some decoration. Well, that's all fine and good. Oh, it's all turning out quite beautifully now. And because we can, let's fill in some decorations. That doesn't quite match, does it? Oh well. Close enough.